Are you ready to turn your Mac into a hacking powerhouse? If you're just getting into cybersecurity and you want a secure environment to be able to practice your skills, Kali Linux is a must-have tool. But installing it on an M1 Mac can sometimes be tricky, but in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. There, my name's AJ, and on this channel, we teach all things cybersecurity for beginners. So let's get into it. So first of all, then we're going to be downloading VMware Fusion and of course, Kali Linux. So first of all, VMware Fusion, this is going to be our virtual machine that we're going to be running Kali Linux on top of. So if you don't know what a virtual machine is, then it's basically a computer within a computer. So even though that we're running Mac OS, we can use a virtual machine to be able to run Kali Linux on Mac OS. So to get access to VMware Fusion, then we want to be going to VMware Fusion and you can do download and you're going to see this here where they've got VMware Fusion Pro now available for free personal use. We're going to be looking at VMware Fusion Pro 13. So we can come down here. So you can see it says download VMware Fusion Pro download. So we can go to this and it's going to ask you to sign in here. You likely don't have a Broadcom account. If you do, then of course you can sign in, but you can do trouble signing in, click here. And as you can see, it'll allow you to register here. So you're going to want to enter an email address, it's saying complete email address, but you can use a Hotmail email address. I've used a Hotmail or Gmail address, whichever one you've got. Uh, enter the text and then it's going to send a code to that email. Just enter that code and then it'll go through the setup phase for you. It'll then look like this where you need to start to complete your registration. So please fill this in. And once you register, you can say um, it's up to you if you want to update your profile now but we can also do it later as well, which is what I'm going to select here. So once you've registered for an account, you can go back to this blog here and scroll down to VMware Fusion Pro download. You click on this, it's going to ask you to log in. Please log in with the account that you've just registered with, and then you should be able to see the list of products uh, here that you can download. So the one we're downloading is VMware Fusion 13 Pro for personal use, and we're going to be doing the 13.6 release. And as you can see here, VMware Fusion Pro for personal use for Intel based and Apple Silicon Max. So the one that I'm using is actually Apple Silicon. Um, so this means if you've got an M1 or higher chip as well. So this is it here then. You can simply click download. If you want to agree to the terms and conditions and then click download. And it's going to say prior to download the file, additional verification is required. You proceed yes you just then need to fill in the address information here and then submit it'll then bring you back to this page again where you can hit download again and you can say that you want to allow it and this will start downloading as we can see in the corner here so you just need to wait for this to download so then once it's downloaded you can double click on this and as you can see here you just want to double click on this on this and just follow the prompts to be able to install vmware fusion then once it's installed, you should see that it should say VMware Fusion once it's opened. And here you're going to have a list of any virtual machines. This is just what my one looks like. But this is what the virtual machine library should look like for you without the virtual machines. So now that we have VMware Fusion, which is VM software, what we need now is to actually get an image or an ISO of Kali Linux. And to be able to get that, what we can do is go back to Google and we can type in Kali Linux installer images. So hit enter on that. And you can see the top one, get Kali, Kali Linux. Then you can see this one here, installer images, click recommended. And we want Apple Silicon because for this video, we're using an M1 Mac. So we need to make sure that we're using Apple Silicon. And then we can download this one here. So we can hit download. And as you can see, that will start downloaded in the corner for you now. So you just need to wait for this to finish. And when this does, come back to the video. So now what we're going to do is actually install Kali Linux. So you should see your ISO image here and it should be downloaded. You want to come into your virtual machine, um, the virtual machine library in VMware Fusion, click new, and then we want to install from disk uh, or image, which is what we've just downloaded. Um, so we can select that disk image here, uh, downloads Kali Linux ISO, and then continue. And then this one here is going to be Linux. Uh, so Kali Linux is actually a Debian uh, flavor of Linux. So we can click Deb Debian, continue. So we are going to update these settings, but first we'll click finish. And then you want to name your virtual machine. So you can do Kali Linux, click save. And then you'll see that it opens up this prompt here. But first we want to close this. Um, we want to go to settings. So first of all, we want to go into 
So we're going to go into processors and memory. We're going to allocate more memory to this. So it's all going to depend on how much memory you've got on your Mac already. But the more memory you give it, the smoother it is going to run. So I like to give it about four gigabytes. So we can leave that there and we can go back to settings. Then you want to go into isolation. So you can leave, make sure these are enable, drag and drop, enable, copy and paste. So this is just going to make it easier when you're trying to copy and paste from your Mac system into your Kali Linux system if you need to. If you are doing some malware analysis, then you may want to disable these because sometimes malware, when you're testing it in a virtual machine, can use these features to be able to actually escape the VM and jump into your macOS system. But for the basis of this video, uh, you can leave these enabled. And then we want to go into the hard disk. So again, this is going to depend on how much hard disk space you've actually got on your Mac system. Um, but I like to allocate at least 75 gig uh, to this just to make sure that it's got enough space um, to be able to run everything so 75 gig is more than enough and then into network adapter i like to pick wi-fi and then go back to show all and now all of these settings should be set up so you can close this out and then you can actually click this play button to actually launch the machine and now we're going to go through the installation phase so we can hit enter to do install and uh, we can do english uh, whichever language you want I'm in the UK, so I'm going to do United Kingdom, British English. And you're just going to want to follow this through. It's just going to go through the wizard just to set this up. So you just want to keep going through these setups. It'll automatically configure a lot of this. You're going to configure your network so you can enter the host name. So the host name for this, we can just name it Kali. Domain, uh, we can leave this blank. Just do continue. So the new user, so whichever you want to use for the basis of this video, we're just going to create a test user. Uh, username for your account, continue. Password, create a password for that user. And you want to continue. Type that password in again. And then you're just going to want to wait for it to go through the setup wizard. It's going to start to partition the disk. And as you can see here, it's going to ask you then if you want to use uh, the entire disk, which is what you want to do. So you hit enter. And this is the disk here that we've created. Hit enter. Um, here you've got all files recommended for new users. We can use that one. And you can see here it's got finish partitioning and write changes to disk. I want to do that. And we want to write changes to disk. We want to do yes. And as you can see here, it's going to go through and actually install the operating system, which is of course Kali Linux. So you just want to wait for this to go through. It'll take a couple of minutes, but once it's done, come back to the video. Then you can see here it's going to ask you for software selection. So we can leave these as default and you can actually then just hit continue and again you're going to want to be waiting for this to actually complete as you can see this is just going to be a bit more of a waiting game it's going to say select and install software just wait for this wizard to complete and then come back to the video when it's done and then it should say here we got finish installation and you want to continue and it'll actually reboot the virtual machine and as you can see here it's going to go through that reboot so it's going to take a couple of seconds you can hit enter when this pops up and you can see it's now going to boot into your Kali Linux virtual machine. So remember the user that you created with the password. So please type that in. Hit enter. And now you are successfully in your virtual machine. Congratulations. You now have Kali Linux running on your M1 Mac. So now you just want to make sure everything's working correctly. So you may see that your resolution might be a little bit off. All you need to do is restart the virtual machine. So go ahead and go to restart and then it's going to reboot and it should then readjust your resolution to the screen that you're using. So as you can see here, uh, if we go ahead to then when you log back in, it will, re uh, will have readjusted the resolution to the screen that you're using. We also just want to make sure that we've got internet connectivity. So we can go ahead and go to here, go to Google. Uh, we can see that we can access Google. Maybe we can go and just make sure it works. And we can see here that this is working correctly. You can also, if you want to test, you can open a terminal and do ping 8.8.8. .8. This is just going to confirm that you've got internet connectivity as well. So this looks like everything is working correctly. Also, what you want to do as well is go to open your terminal and you want to actually update and make sure that the system and the Kali Links virtual machine is up to date. You want to run sudo apt get update, enter your password, and then it's going to go ahead and update the operating system. Then you also want to do sudo apt get upgrade. 
This probably will take a little bit longer, but you're going to completely update your Kali Linux virtual machine. So you want to get go ahead and do this just to make sure that everything is up to date, including all of the tools. So once that's updated, you want to go back into the virtual machine library. So we can go down here and we can go virtual machine library. Then on your machine, you can go, we want to go ahead and create a snapshot. So what this is going to do is just create a snapshot of the current state. So it's all up to date. So if we do have any errors with the virtual machine or anything, when we're using any of the tools, we can then just revert it back to original setup. Or maybe if you're running malware, testing some stuff, then you can revert it back to the actual clean virtual machine. So you know that it's back to the original setup. As you can see here then, uh, we've just taken that snapshot there. So now you have Kali Linux running on your Mac OS um, through a virtual machine. You can go up in the corner and you can start exploring all of these penetration testing and cybersecurity tools. So to conclude, you've successfully downloaded and installed your own virtual machine software using VMware Fusion. You've also successfully downloaded and installed Kali Linux on VMware Fusion, and you've made sure that your Kali Linux is configured with internet connectivity and is updated and working correctly. So congratulations, you now have your own Kali Linux virtual machine running on your macOS system. Now that you've got this set up, you wanna be exploring Kali Linux and all of its tools. And now if you're interested in some project video ideas using Kali Linux, go and watch this video next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you over there.